Sa pagdinig ngayon ng House Committee on Justice, pagbobotohan ang probable cause ng mga impeachment complaint laban kay Ombudsman Merceditas Gutierrez. At para bigyan linaw, ang nangyayari ngayong proseso ng impeachment, makakasama natin ang dating Solicitor General at kilala sa kanyang mga anti-graft exposés, si Attorney Frank Chavez. Magandang umaga, Attorney Chavez. Welcome to News uh, to Go. Good morning. Good morning, Howie. So, famous words ni Ombudsman Gutierrez, moro-moro lang daw itong impeachment proceedings. Uh, ano yung uh, point of view niyo dyan? Ang sinasabi niya, moro-moro, dahil sa pagtingin niya, may bahid politika. Uh, well, it goes without saying, this is a political exercise. We do not determine guilt or innocence of uh, the respondent in these proceedings. It's always a question of numbers. No? Pero mali naman siya pag sinabi niya na bahid politika. Dahil kami, for instance, I'm talking about myself, testigo ako, I have nothing against her personally. I am just a citizen, uh, a taxpayer, who has just gotten fed up with an action on the part of the ombudsman. Pero sinasabi niya, may conflict of interest daw yung chairman na uh, namumuno nitong uh, uh, Committee on Justice, no? si, Ator, si uh, Congressman Tupas, na may kaso yung ama dun sa ombudsman. Hindi kaya may conflict of interest yan. Yun ang, baka yun ang sinasabi niya, may bahid politika. Eh, hindi naman siguro because I believe in the capacity of uh, these congressmen to rise above their personal considerations. At uh, kung ito ay may mga kasong personal na lab, uh, with uh, the office of the ombudsman, hindi dapat sumipsip sila sa kanya mm -hmm. para ma masikaso yung kaso nila na in their favor. Pero the fact is that they're pushing with this impeachment because they believe and I join their sentiments that uh, there is sufficient basis to impeach uh, the incumbent ombudsman. Mm. So, sa tingin nyo ba, tapos na yung, halos tapos na yung laban sa, sa House, sa Kamara, at uh, ang labanan ngayon nasa Senado na? I think they have the numbers. Uh, eventually, uh, in the fullness of time, uh, magkakaroon na ng articles of impeachment at ito ay dadalhin na sa Senado at doon magkaroon ng uh, litigation. Uh, para lang sa benefit ng ating viewers na hindi masyado nakakaalam ng proseso, bakit pa kailangan i-impeach ang ombudsman? Can't the president just fire her? Uh, she is a, an, a constitutional officer. Hindi siya pwedeng tanggalin ng presidente precisely to maintain the independence of the holder of that office. No? So, kailangan talaga ang i-impeach. That's the only way you can remove uh, the ombudsman. At uh, pagkatapos sa uh, House of Representatives, dadalhin ito sa Senado, parang magkaroon ng paglilitis. Pero hindi naman dyan na uh, nagkaroon ng uh, katapusan sa Senado. Dahil na after she is impeached by the Senate, magkakaroon pa ng filing of criminal charges against her. At doon lamang siya pwedeng husgahan kung guilty or not guilty. Kung not guilty siya, then libre siya. Pag guilty siya, kailangan siyang magsilbi ng panahon sa kulungan. Okay. So, uh, nabanggit na nga yung Senado, no? uh, kasulukoyang may uh, hearings din doon, kaugnay ng military corruption. No? Uh, coincidental lang ba ito o may, may uh, connection yung dalawang uh, uh, issues? Uh, alam mo, Howie, noong uh, March 2nd, nag-appear ako sa Kongreso at doon ang testimony ko is to indicate that the ombudsman should be impeached. The following day, Uh, no March 3, uh, nag-appear din ako sa Senado upon invitation of the Senate uh, to clarify that it is not correct to say that there were no plunder charges filed against uh, General Ligot and uh, General Rabusa because uh, when nobody cared at that time, uh, March 15, April 15, and April 22, kami, ang, gru ang grupo namin, Operation Clean Hands, Uh, composed of uh, Makati-based lawyers who are still idealistic, uh, both young and not so young, uh, formed themselves into that group and uh, were bound together by a commonality of purpose, and that is to expose, prosecute, and to seek the conviction of corrupt people in the three branches of government. That, that is what led us to file the uh, uh, plundered charges against General Carlos Garcia, Uh, against General uh, Jacinto uh, Ligot and against uh, Colonel uh, George Rabusa. So, pinaliwanag namin doon sa, sa Senado na kami bilang complainant, hindi nga kami binigyan ng mga notices ng proceedings ng Office of the Ombudsman. At ito, in all fairness also to Gutierrez, 
na sampai ito ng panahon pa ni Marcelo, ni Simeon Marcelo as ombudsman. Pero hindi niya ginalaw ito mga plunder cases against uh, Ligot and uh, Rabusa. Nag-concentrate siya doon sa kay, kay uh, Garcia at sa pag-aaral namin, eh, palpak naman at mali yung information na pinali niya sa kay General Garcia. So finally, these cases are being discussed. The uh, case against uh, the ombudsman will also be reaching the Senate. Uh, do you think these uh, anti-corruption cases, these issues, are reaching a new climax? I mean, paano na iiba yung panahon natin ngayon? Are, are, is this giving you new hope uh, after all of these years? Don't give me new hope, uh, Howie, because the ho hope within myself never left me. You remember, you were my client. Uh, in 1985, when uh, Lino Broca, Ben Cervantes, et al. were hailed to court on trumped-up charges of uh, inciting to sedition during the time of Marcos. And... Uh, that was 1985, but I traced my involvement in the fight against corruption. 15 years earlier, I was in the first Battle of Mindiolo Bridge on January 30, 1970. And I have never changed because I don't want to give up the fight. For as long as there is one Filipino who offers himself as a counter friction to this malady that threatens to metastasize our society called corruption, there is hope for all of us. But on dami na pong disappointments, eh, di ba? So, what, what makes this particular moment, is this moment any different from all the previous moments nung na-disappoint yung taumbayan dito sa mga corruption The issues? moment that we have now offers the same kind of passion that we had several years ago, the moments that pushed us to fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. So, we cannot just simply give up. Mm -hmm. And if I may quote, Lord Alfred Tennyson, he said, That which we are, we are. For one equal temper of heroic heart, made weak by time and age, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. And we will not yield until we shall have achieved good, honest, and effective government for all of us Filipinos. Alfred Lord Tennyson talked about Filipinos? <laughs> no, that's Frank Chavez talking about us. Lord Alfred Tennyson sharing with us his vision of how it is to really just fight on without giving up. So what's the best case scenario uh, in the Senate uh, with the hearings about the military and then uh, um, Mercy Gutierrez's case reaching the Senate? What, in your heart of hearts, what, what is the scenario that you're hoping for? Well, you know, when I appeared before the Congress a day before, on March 2nd, that was for the purpose of exposing the inadequacies, uh, the, the art of mastering uh, doing nothing on the part of the ombudsman. The following day, I also exposed the inaction and the omission of her uh, predecessor. Mm -hmm. The purpose of bringing all of this to the public attention is that we have reached a stage when the institution called Office of the Ombudsman has become a failed institution because of the inaction of the leaders of that office. What I see is, particularly in the case of uh, Mercedes Gutierrez, is that there is going to be sufficient evidence uh, for probable cause in the House and eventually for uh, a verdict of impeachment against her in the Senate. In the case of uh, the plea bargaining agreement and the, in the Sandigan Bayan, all is not lost because I was proposing to the senators during the hearing that the uh, plea bargaining agreement could and should, in fact, be withdrawn or rescinded by the parties that submitted that to the Sandigan Bayan. And then, cancel the bail, and we go back to the status of the proceedings before the plea bargaining agreement was submitted. Okay. Sir, on that note, uh, marami salamat, Attorney Frank Chavez. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It's always my pleasure. Hindi man siya haharap sa kamera, nakatakda namang dumalo sa isang forum si Ombudsman Mercedes Gutierrez para ibigay ang kanyang panic sa impeachment proceedings.